All right, welcome to OaklandHockey.org here on the Black and Gold Report. We are here with defenseman John Baker. And first of all, John, can you just uh, give your overall thoughts on your first half of the season personally? Yeah, um, I think uh, just, just me or as a, as a team? Uh, we'll start with you and then we'll go into the team. Um, I think I've, uh, I've accomplished everything I wanted to so far in the first semester, but um, I think that I've, I mean, I was out three weekends with a concussion, and uh, I kind of uh, put a damper on my game, but I'm, uh, I'm hoping to come back second semester and uh, prove to the uh, coaches and the team that uh, I can bring a lot more to the ice. And uh, But first semester, I think I played pretty solid B, but I can improve uh, a few more aspects of my game. And, um, yeah, I think that concussion really, really hurt. Um, hurt me for a few weekends there. And uh, I didn't get my game completely back until probably uh, Davenport weekend. And then what would you say from the perspective of how the team did? On the team, um, you know, it was an up-and-down semester. But um, overall, I mean, on the break side of things, I think uh, we saw where we can play. And uh, we know where we're at right now. So we can definitely, uh, we got more to give. And we, I mean, with how up and down we work, we just need to be more consistent. And um, we'll, I, I think we're going to bring it second semester and come around. And then the one thing, too, is that, you know, I've talked a lot about opportunity, and there's still lots of opportunity um, for this team when you look at, um, uh, you know, lots of opportunity for the team when you look at what's ahead in the schedule, such as Davenport, and you have uh, Minot State up ahead. What can you tell us about that in terms of the opportunity to still get yourself there? Because despite everything that's happened, you guys are still right there. Absolutely. Um, well, with the national rankings, I think with, with uh second semester coming around, I think it's a lot stronger schedule. And um, I think we can, that's, we've, we're going to come to play. We're going to, uh, we're definitely going to bring it second semester. I think it's going to help us out tremendously in the rankings is, uh, we come together, we bring our A game, and we, uh, at least one from my net, I think it's going to help us out tremendously in the rankings, and uh, I, I believe in our team. I guarantee we're going we're gonna to come out a different team next semester. And then what are some things that, in terms of during this couple-week break, I know it's going to be good to get everybody 100% healthy, but in terms of workouts, what are some things that you think that you guys need to do to kind of make sure you're 100% in shape, ready to go in January? Um, a lot of the guys right now, with the, uh, with the break, I think they're going to take uh, at least one week off, and I've... Uh, Spoke with the guys, spoke with Frank, spoke with the captains, and uh, we're all going to try to at least stay on the ice, you know, once or twice a week. And then uh, pretty much, I know, I know there's some guys still sore and uh, healing up, so they're going to take at least some guys a week off, two weeks. And then, uh, you know, I, I know some of the guys are still in the gym every every day. So um, the guys that are healthy, they're staying in the gym. Other guys are resting up. So, uh yeah, I don't know. I guess I guess we're gonna probably we're gonna get together with Frank and some of the guys, and we'll figure out. Uh, we'll, we'll still be doing off ice and whatnot, so just to stay in shape uh, over break. And then you're an offensive defenseman. Um, with that, I know you 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 would definitely want more uh, more points here so far this season. But when looking at that, what are some of the things that you can do defensively to kind of help out uh, your goaltenders back there? Blocking shots, sacrificing your body back there, and um, yeah, I mean, I'm an offensive defenseman, but uh, you know, I, I think, like I said, I got more to bring next semester, and uh, I think everybody's going to see uh, exactly what I can what I can do next semester. I, I can bring a lot more to the table, and um, as defensively, I mean, just crisp breakout passes, uh, blocking shots, and um, you know, get in front of everything. And when you're looking at the season so far, there's kind of been moments where you guys played where you look like you are probably one of the best teams in the nation, and in other times where it was a struggle. How much of that is mental for you guys in terms of holding on the leads or not? Um, not I don't I don't necessarily say if rattled is the right word, but not getting rattled after a team scored on you. Uh, you know that seemed to be kind of a problem at the beginning. How much of a mental game is that? I, th- I think it's it's a hundred percent mental. Um, we got a, a lot of younger guys in the team, and uh, you know, it, it, I think it all comes down to second semester. We kind of grow as a team. We know how we are. We know how we play. And first semester, I mean, we get scored. We I don't think we've come back from deficit yet 
the season where we're down two or three goals and we come back, and that's uh, we're gonna that's we're gonna improve second semester. It's really mental. It's it's all mental. We'll we'll get scored on and we get down on ourselves and stuff, and that's something we're not gonna we're not gonna be doing second semester. We're uh, we're gonna be a completely different team second semester. Come around. And what has been kind of the lessons learned that that you might have learned from a couple of games this season that you'll say, all right, we went through that, we learned that, and now we know how to handle that situation. Um. Well, I'd say we we just we what we learned from first semester we can take in as a positive. We can't take any games for granted. I mean, uh, losing two to Eastern really hurt us, and we know you know that was that was kind of just a wake up call for us. We know that we can't take a game off now, second semester. And we're already in a, in a pretty much a hunt for nationals, and it's uh, not even second semester yet, so we know that we can't take any games um, lightly, and we're going to have to bring our A game every game second semester. Now, at the beginning of the year in the summer, there was a lot of expectations for the team, especially uh, you know with how low did the team looked up front. Did in any way do you think that those high expectations may be got to the team as a whole in terms of not going 100% or just thinking that the switch can flip on at any time? Do you think that was an issue? Um, The expectations, I, I think uh, we knew we were bringing in a lot of talent, and uh, I think we, we, we've we learned how to play, play together uh, first semester. We kind of brought it all together, and I think we're, everyone's going to see what we can bring second semester. Um. You know, with the expectations, I mean, yes and no. I think it affected us a little bit, but um, I, I don't, I don't think that's that was really in our heads or anything like that. Like once, once we lost, lost to Adrian, we knew where we were at, and we, you know, we, we know what we gotta, we know what we gotta change, and uh, we just gotta bring it second semester. I know uh, one thing too that's been different in the first semester has been no uh, long road trips, and I know as a team that that might be a uh, you know, an issue where you're on the road, you're you're stuck on a bus for hours upon hours, and, and you're bonding. Do you, how good of a feeling, or how good do you think that's going to be now that you have Western road trip, you have uh, Minot State, Liberty? How good do you think that's going to be able to help the team in terms of spending some time on the bus? Well, yeah, that's that's a great time for us to bond, and uh, I think that I, I hopped on second semester last year, and we did a lot more uh, road trips. I guess that's just how how it usually is, but. Um, I think it brings all of us together as a team and uh, it's a time to bond, build some chemistry, and it's always good on the road. I mean, it's it's tough. It's more tough to hop off the bus after 18 hours driving to Liberty and whatnot, but uh, you know what? It's fun. We get we get more excited for uh, our road games sometimes, and uh, it's fun. I, I'm, I'm actually pretty pumped to uh, be going for our, uh, our road, all of our road, road games uh, second semester. It's going to be a good time. And then final question here for you, JB, is uh, – First semester with uh, head coach Gordy Shuffler, uh, what was it like and to have him back there as the head man for the first half? Uh, it was different for me since Gordy was uh, pretty much on the DN all last my my uh, first semester last year, so it was a little bit of a change. Um, kind of went from buddy buddy to uh, it's, it's your head coach now, and you kind of got to treat Gordy a little differently. So it's weird, but uh, I like it. I, I thought uh, he did a great job and. Um, really, uh, really appreciate it, and yeah, it's just a little different than having him just on the DN with uh, as an assistant coach. But uh, I think he made a great transition, and uh, I think we're all having a good time. And then I did live final question here as I'm uh, watching Bill against Lat- Latvia here. I'm um, just winning a face off. Can you just uh, tell us just your thoughts on Bill being on Team USA and how excited you are for that? I think it's unbelievable. Uh, Bill's one of my Good buddies on the team, and uh, couldn't be more excited for him. And uh, yeah, I, I had to take some time off studying just to uh, catch a little bit of a live stream on uh, Tuesday, watching him play. And I can't be more pumped how, how awesome that is playing playing out there, and just uh, getting the experience out there. And I mean, it's awesome. Couldn't be more excited for the guy. Well, thank you, John, for joining us here on the Black and Gold Report on OaklandHockey.org, and uh, have a good second semester.